Thailand is on the tour list for the Pope. The head of the Catholic Church is set to visit here in November in a schedule that also takes in Japan. Traditionally a Buddhist country, Thailand has just half a percent of people that are Catholic. However, it's expected that his visit will be orchestrated to afford all of those a chance to see him. Drought conditions are creeping south from the northeast this week, seeing more and more towns, cities and villages devoid of tap water and river levels at a historical low. Reports of farmers cutting failed rice paddies and using them to feed cattle are causing concern, and reservoirs are down in some cases to just 5% of capacity. Water for irrigation has long been turned off as the wet stuff is being saved for domestic needs. A complete opposite of the south of Thailand, where in Phuket daily deluges have seen flooding in the region. For the north and northeast, though, they're suffering, as is much of Asia, from the results of a very hot dry season and a non-existent first monsoon season. When four Chinese were taken away by Rayong police after a nationwide police APB was put out for their arrest, they claimed that whilst they had robbed a Samut Prakan company of 900,000 baht, They'd only done it because they'd run out of spending money. That's fallen on deaf ears and they can expect a jail term. A GoFundMe page set up for two British tourists on their honeymoon on Koh Tao was successful this month. It seems that they had a bike crash, they had medical insurance, but the policy was pretty limited and only covered part of their medical costs. Left with nearly half a million baht's worth of unpaid bills, their friends and family all donated, seeing costs covered and the couple safely returned to Britain. Another so-called Fund Me project has failed, though, that of the British expat living up north and on a 10-year overstay, despite family claiming it wasn't his fault. Potential donors saw through that, and his fund sits at about 13,000 baht, mostly from family, and it won't do much more than to keep him in food and water at the immigration detention centre. Word is that his family's trying to help with a 20,000 baht fine, court costs, and, of course, a one-way ticket to the UK. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, high waves and storms in the Gulf have seen red flags set out along the Phuket shoreline warning swimmers not to swim. Here, the undercurrents are strong too, and warnings have been in place not to swim until the swells subside. Walking Street was being sluiced down by City Hall early Sunday morning as the annual marathon was set to start in the early hours. 13,000 runners were expected, as streets were closed off and bars closed down, so the fun began, seeing another amazing race around the city. And fireworks were set off in a magnificent display as winners crossed the finish line in the 28th annual Patia Marathon. Onlookers were treated to street-side entertainment and a three-kilometre wheelchair race proved extremely popular too as runners and watchers arrived in the city, so it quickly became totally congested from six in the evening onwards, and those businesses serving local nationals were all very busy. Rain predicted for the weekend by the Met Office simply sailed overhead for most of us, leaving Patia with a cooler two days, but certainly dry. For the next two days, we're on storm watch too, and today sees predictions of only 32, dropping down to a cool 27. And that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.